FFA is a place of acceptance and patience where the members are understanding and giving. It's a place where anyone can belong no matter what race or gender they are. The National FFA Organization, or FFA, was organized as the Future Farmers of America in 1928 in Kansas City, Missouri. In 1988, the official organization name was changed to National FFA Organization to reflect the broadening field of agriculture, which today encompasses more than 300 careers in everything from agri-science to biotechnology to turf grass management, anything and everything associated with agriculture. Thousands of students have walked into the agriculture wing seeking acceptance and knowledge and that is what the teachers have been able to give them throughout the years. What do you think about the way that FFA and FFA classes have impacted students' lives? I think it's impacted them in a very positive way. Um, not only do we teach curriculum as far as science and all that, but uh, more importantly we give them uh, hands-on type of experiences and uh, we call it applicational education uh, to where they can truly apply that for the rest of their lives. It's not just a theory that they learn in the classroom, it's something that they can take with them and actually improve their lives through premier leadership, personal growth, and career success. Okay, you mentioned um, career success. Can you tell me more about the careers that you can go into and that FFA helped with? Um, a lot of people normally think, when they think of FFA, they think of just farm kids and traditional agriculture as far as production agriculture farming, but it's so much more than that. Um, you know, for instance, here at Davis County, we have uh, ag mechanization, which Mr. Howard teaches, all the ag mech classes, so they learn a little bit about engines, a little bit about welding, plumbing, electricity, and so forth. Um, then Mr. Smith takes care of the animal science portion. Um, so in other words, some kids, I mean, we've got some students that's graduated and become vet, veterinarians, we've got some that's vet assistants, we've got some that uh, just work in the pharmaceutical sales field and stuff like that, so he takes care of the animal science portion. And then I take care of the horticulture portion. Uh, you know, I've had many students go into, even a few will go into floral design. Uh, I've had them, a lot of them become landscapers, some of them work in greenhouses, um, some of them have lawn mowing businesses. So uh, I believe that the things that we teach Again, they can actually use as far as careers for the rest of their lives. Uh, FFA members here at Davis County are hooked on the never-ending flow of knowledge that's accessible to them through our FFA and agriculture classes. There are horticulture classes such as landscaping and greenhouse, not only teaching students about plants, but how to make a living using this knowledge. Never walked barefoot by a river Felt the mud up between your toes You never rolled in the hay You never thrown it in four wheel Climb up on in here, girl Let me show you how country feels Put your hair down, hair down Get you some of this laid on back Kick your shoes off, kick them off Get you some of this slow down fast I'll take you up and Mr. Smith teaches classes about animals such as animal science, equine science, small animal production, and many more classes. Veterinarians can learn so much from him. Never watch the sun go down from the bed of a pickup truck. You ever been so in the somebody? Shop classes, which are taught by Mr. Howard, teach the same things concerning welding and construction. These are jobs that require some skill in the area, and learning it in a high school setting without the extra stress over losing the job if you mess up makes that knowledge so much more valuable. I'll take you up and 